Today I want to talk about IPL and laser. I get asked all the time about which one is better and are light-based treatments safe and how do they work. Hopefully um, I can answer all these questions for you throughout this video. So first I want to clarify that light-based treatments are safe when used correctly. The electromagnetic spectrum lists all forms of radiation and the wavelengths they admit. You can see along the top of the spectrum is split into two sections, ionizing and non-ionizing. This determines whether the radiation can change DNA within living cells or not. X-rays, gamma rays and some UV radiation are all ionizing as they can cause malignancies if they are exposed to the body. On the non-ionizing side of the spectrum, there are microwaves, infrared radiation and visible light radiation, which are all safe as they cannot change or alter DNA within the human body. This is because the wavelengths of these forms of radiation are too long to penetrate into the microscopic strands of DNA fibers and the laser and IPL radiation actually sits within the visible and infrared sections of the spectrum, meaning that they cannot cause malignancies. When doing light-based treatments, we are looking for a specific target within the skin. A chromophore is a target. There are three targets when performing light-based treatments. Melanin, haemoglobin and water. Melanin is, a, is the pigment that, which gives us our skin and hair its colour. And haemoglobin is our blood. One of the principles of light-based treatments for pigmentation and vascular treatments is selective photothermolysis. This basically means that we have selected a target and with our mod modality, whether it be IPL or laser, it produces light energy which is transferred into heat and that heat destroys our target. The idea is to do selective damage to this target without damaging the surrounding tissue. Lasers and IPL devices can be used for a range of treatments. These are just some of the most common treatments. For the purpose of the video that I'm creating now, I'm going to use permanent hair reduction as an example as it's probably the most common. The Fitzpatrick skin typing scale is very important to understand when choosing whether to use an IPL or laser for a client. When treating someone for hair reduction, we are working with melanin as our target. Looking at this chart, you can see that there are six skin types, from very fair to black. This not only determines the visible colour of the skin, but the person's ability to produce pigment and how active their melanocytes are. When the light hits the skin, it is attracted to the pigment and focuses its energy on that pigment. If you were to hold up a white piece of paper and lay a black piece of string across it, it is easy to see and find that piece of string. Whereas if you were to swap the white piece of paper for a black piece of paper, the string becomes harder to see and it blends in. Laser and IPL work in the same way. If there is no contrast, the energy is not absorbed into the target. So the more contrast, the easier it is for the laser or IPL to find the target. This is why people with skin types 1 to 3 see faster and much better results than those of, with a darker skin. The other issue with people with darker skin types are that there is higher risk of hyperpigmentation 
and this is where the skin produces more pigment as part of the, nat the skin's natural healing process. I've created this comparison chart to help explain the differences of IPL and laser. IPL stands for Intense Pulse Light. It is polychromatic, meaning that it uses multiple colours. You can also use multiple wavelengths. IPL is non-coherent and has a high divergence. This means that the light scatters throughout the skin. The use of different colours can be used to search and find different targets within the skin. This means IPL can be used to find and treat multiple targets at once because of its scattering effect. It also has been makes it harder to control and contain the light to the specific target. Laser, on the other hand, stands for light amplification by stimulated emissions of radiation. It uses a monochromatic singular beam of light, meaning that it uses one color. Lasers are, co are coherent and have a low divergence. If you think of a laser pen and how it can shine, you can shine it across the room and it stays in a straight beam of light. This is how laser works. There is little to no scattering and this means that lasers are generally stronger as you can condense the same amount of energy into a smaller space, which will amplify the intensity. It also means that you can only treat a particular target with a particular laser as you cannot change the colour of the laser or the depth that it penetrates. So hopefully this diagram does help make sense of everything I just explained within the last slide there. When using an IPL device, it is important to know what chromophore you are targeting and where the chromophore sits within the skin. This diagram shows how with different filters you can change the depth of an IPL light. IPL machines can penetrate from 400 nanometers to 1200 nanometers within the skin. These cutoff filters can help contain the light energy and prevent excessive damage. You can see from the diagram that a 695 filter is used to focus the light energy on the root of a hair follicle. This makes it the most appropriate for hair reduction. IPL devices should only be used on skin types 1 to 3. This is because IPL machines work more superficially within the skin and a darker skin type will attract too much energy to the surface of the skin, meaning there is a much higher risk of burning. Each laser produces one wavelength, meaning the depth of penetration cannot be changed. This limits the variety of treatments that can be performed with that particular machine. Clinics that use lasers will normally have a few different laser machines to perform different treatments. Ideally, lasers used for hair reduction are the Alexandra and Diode for skin types 1 to 3 and the NDAG for skin types 4 to 6. If a client has a darker skin type, the longer and deeper wavelength is used to bypass the epidermal pigment. This decreases the risk of burning of the skin and makes the treatment much safer. Overall, IPL and lasers can both be used to achieve great results. It all depends on which machine is more appropriate for your skin type and the condition you are wanting to treat. 
Make sure when you inquire about laser and IPL that you go to a reputable company or clinic and you are treated by a therapist, clinician, nurse or doctor who has appropriate and extensive training. There are no enforced regulations for the use of these machines in most states in Australia, so be careful and do your homework, as these devices can cause permanent damage if used incorrectly. Thank you for listening, and if you have any questions, please comment below.